I love to use my limoncello to liven up some of my favorite recipes, from appetizers and entrees to desserts and of course cocktails. My limoncello roast chicken with fennel gives a classic roast chicken recipe a boost of flavor. Let's put our marinade together. Everything goes into an oven proof dish. A half a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. This adds a nice little tang. A couple tablespoons of orange marmalade, quarter of a cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of limoncello, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a few grains of fresh black pepper. Whisk this together so it's good and combined. There we go. Now I'm adding some thinly sliced fennel. This is about two medium bulbs. It looks like a lot, but don't worry, it really reduces a lot when we roast it. I've got two thinly sliced lemons. I've discarded the ends. Let's add those in there. Oh, these look so pretty. I'll toss this so everything is good and mixed. Okay, time to put the chicken pieces in. Make sure that they're good and coated. I'm using four chicken breasts. You can use boneless skinless or you can use boneless with skin off. Today I'm using with the skin on. Gives it a little bit of extra flavor. It's good and coated. All right, let's cover this with plastic wrap. This is gonna go into the refrigerator for about two hours. Make sure to turn the chicken a few times while it's in the marinade. I've removed the chicken from the refrigerator. I'm going to let it set for about 30 minutes. This will help the chicken roast more evenly. I'm sprinkling a teaspoon of fennel seeds right over the chicken. And while we're waiting, I'll preheat the oven to 425. Place the chicken in the oven. We'll roast it for about 35 to 45 minutes or until the chicken's internal temperature reaches 160 degrees. The chicken is done and this marinade makes for a delicious sauce. I'm adding a tablespoon of orange marmalade. Now we need to bring this up to a high boil and then simmer for five minutes. This will kill off any bacteria. And this will thicken as it reduces. It's boiling, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of finely chopped Italian parsley. I have to drizzle some of this delicious sauce over this chicken. It looks so pretty on this decorative platter. My family loves when I serve this with my limoncello fettuccine and my cocannon potatoes. You can find both of those recipes on my website.